tornado warning that's going to continue for the next 15 minutes. At this point, you still need to be in your safe place. If you live in Kingston, anywhere in between Richmond and also Berea, tomorrow gets a stamp of approval from Mary Poppins. It's going to be practically perfect in every way. No, and the snow could be coming down pretty heavily at the onset. Also, some big, fat, fluffy flakes. It's going to accumulate very quickly. It's not going to rain for 40 days and 40 nights, but it's starting to feel like oh, it's going to be Yeah, not to give the 8-day forecast away just yet, but there oh. is a lot of rain <laughs> over the next Man. eight days going to be heading our way. But Close couplet that we're seeing right now, but we are seeing some broad rotation again just to the south of Richmond. So we at Masterson Station Park enjoying the food and music festival out there. They are still dealing with the rain and also frequent lightning. She wins number one on the list, but still all of the modes of severe weather are on the table with large hail. Some heavy rain, which may lead to localized flooding and even an isolated tornado. Weather can dramatically change the way the course is going to play, whether the greens are going to be firm or soft. And of course, who can forget all of the rain that we had last year, especially during the rounds that counted. Ossery, dust storm, haboob. Who came up with that? Let's talk it over some, and come up with a different some name. Meteorologist that has sense of the humor. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. The Phillies ran for the Lilies under sunshine here at Churchill Downs. We just saw the end of the race. Serengeti Empress was the winner of the Kentucky Oaks this year. And of course, starting off this morning, a totally different story. We saw driving rain here across the Downs, making this the second wettest Kentucky Oaks day on record. Driving along I-64, you may have noticed a large solar farm in Clark County. Over the past year, the East Kentucky Power Cooperative has been providing a renewable energy source for homes and businesses in Central Kentucky. For years, we've had members, cooperative members, who have said, you know, I, I want a renewable energy for my home or business. We felt like in the past few years, solar energy has gotten to a point, the technology and the price has gotten to a point where it really makes sense for our members. The co-op allows you to get the benefits of solar power without the maintenance. Participants pay a one-time fee of $460. That allows them to lease one of the solar panels on 60 acres just outside of Winchester. The lease is for 25 years. Comer says customers see a savings of $1.50 to $2 a month. On a cloudless sunny day, our panels are producing enough electricity to power about a thousand typical Kentucky homes. So even on a really miserable, cloudy, rainy day, there's solar energy that's getting through the clouds. Rain or shine 365 days out of the year. These solar panels will continue to generate renewable energy for homes and businesses across central Kentucky. Covering the news in Clark County from the LEX 18 Mobile Newsroom, back to you. Crews can get out there to pre-treat the roads now because of all the rain, but then as temperatures begin to crash and we see that change over to snow, that's when things can become a little bit difficult. And we'll be seeing temperatures dropping into the teens. We only settle for the low 20s tomorrow. Snow will be on the ground as you wake up tomorrow. That's going to begin to wind down, but then phase three of this winter storm is the bitter cold that lingers into Monday. It sure was nice to see the sun today. It was nice that it coincided with the first day of summer, but unfortunately, all good things that must come to an end as already some thunderstorms are lining up off to our west and they are going to make for a stormy Friday night here across central and eastern Kentucky. So on the Max Track Live Doppler, everything's still west of I-65 at this hour, but in anticipation of those thunderstorms that are going to be turning towards the east over the coming hours, a severe thunderstorm watch has been expanded into some of our southern and southwestern Kentucky counties. That includes Adair, Casey, also Taylor and Russell counties. That's going to run until 11 o'clock tonight. And we we may actually see this watch be expanded as we go over the coming hours. That complex of thunderstorms continues to push eastward. So we've been monitoring this complex all day long. It pushed past St. Louis now is impacting western Kentucky and areas to the west of the Louisville Metro. But you can also see where it's going to be heading. It's going to be diving south towards Nashville, even into Knoxville, where also they are under a severe thunderstorm watch this evening. So it's mainly after 10 o'clock is going to be our time here across central and eastern Kentucky. Still the top threat, especially given all of the rain that we have seen over the past week is going to be for some localized flooding. But of course, with any thunderstorm, some intense lightning will be possible. Already a lot of lightning strikes with these thunderstorms that continue to press eastward. Also some damaging winds possible with the severe thunderstorms on a lesser threat that's going to be hail going forward this evening. And with again, more heavy rain expected. A flash flood watch has been
been reissued for all of central Kentucky. It does spill over just to the east of I-75. That's going to run until 11 o'clock tomorrow morning, especially that torrential rain in those areas that have already been drenched over the past week or so. We could be seeing more flooding concerns arising overnight. So everything is out ahead of an advancing warm front that's going to be lifting in. And actually, these thunderstorms are riding along a little area of some higher humidity, some higher dew points across uh, the Lake Cumberland area. So that's pushing everything eastward, impacting us here in Lexington as we approach the midnight hour through the wee hours of the morning. Storms continue to diminish as they move into eastern Kentucky. But then we get set for another batch of storms looking towards tomorrow morning. That's as the arm of the warm front begins to nudge into the Commonwealth from the southwest. We will be getting a little bit of dry time into the afternoon, but then we'll renew chances more, more scattered showers and thunderstorms through the latter parts of the year Saturday. There is some good news for Sunday. It looks like it's going to be the drier and the warmer of the two weekend days, but still we can't let our guard down as a few more storms will be possible as we cap off the weekend. Right now, though, it's pretty pleasant for this first day of summer. We've been hovering right around 80 degrees for the better part of the afternoon and into the evening here in Lexington. Currently, Bluegrass Airport sits at 78 degrees. And as we look at downtown from our St. Joseph Health weather bug camera, you can see the clouds that have been streaming in as the blow off from those thunderstorms off to the west and eventually they, the clouds will continue to thicken up as we continue to see those thunderstorms pressing eastward along with the mild temperatures today. It's also been feeling pretty good. Dew points right now though are starting to creep close to 60 and that's when it starts to feel a little bit muggy. So on tap tonight, thunderstorms return. Some could be strong to severe with a flash flood watch in effect for the majority of us here in central Kentucky. Temperatures will bottom out in the mid to upper 60s. Then for your Saturday, we'll call for off and on showers and thunderstorms. One batch in the morning, we get a little bit of a midday break and then more activity into the late stages of the day. There will be limited sunshine in between, but still warm with a high near 80. Come Sunday, we'll see a little bit more dry time. Temperatures also warm up. We'll be in the mid to upper 80s. Then the finale comes Monday into Tuesday. A few showers may hang on, but Wednesday is the day we've all been waiting for as it begins an extended stretch. In fact, a three day stretch will we'll keep things dry. It's also going to get a little bit toasty and steamy with highs near 90 by this time next week, Dia.